Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel, and I'm Darren, and today we're going to do some sous vide Q pork belly burnt ends, and I've got me, uh, it's about a two pound, two, two and a half pound um, piece of pork belly here that I um, pre-seasoned with the Running Wild uh, Cherry Rub and stuck in the vacuum sealer. Um, it's been in the freezer a couple weeks now. And I've thought it out, and what we're going to do is we're going to make some pork belly burn ends. I'm sure if you guys have uh, been looking around the internet or on Facebook or YouTube, you've seen a lot of people doing pork belly burn ends, and what they are is just you cube up pork belly, and you cook them like you would a brisket burn end. You just make them into like little bits of candied pork belly bacon heaven. And that's what we're going to do. But we're going to start these out, um, putting them in the sous vide, just to par cook them, to get them cooked, um, you know, most of the way. And then we're going to throw them on the smoker. We're actually going to throw them on the Camp Chef uh, SG24 today. It's going to be my first um, video on that, that particular grill. And we're going to put it on the high smoke function so that we can get some good smoke to these. So we're going to actually sous vide these for this piece of pork belly, the whole thing, um, and a whole for about six hours. Now what I'm going to do, I just took the pork belly out of the sous vide. It was in there at 155 for six hours. And I've got it out of the bag now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into about a little bit bigger than, you know, an inch and a half inch uh, square cubes. And uh, I'm going to put it in this bowl. And then we're going to toss it with some of the running wild pork candy. I'm going to cube it up. Rub. Bite-sized chunks, kind of like this. Not very big, because what we're going to do with this, I'm going to turn it into a sandwich the end so gonna cube it up small enough chunks that we can put this on a nice sandwich I'm gonna put the done. pork belly on this rack and put the rack itself on the grill so that the smoke can envelop it so I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting this up into chunks <laughs> size I have these all cut up. Some are bigger, some are smaller. It's just the way the pork butt is. But uh, I'm going to use the running wild pork candy. And I'm just going to dump some on here. And I'm just going to toss it up. So these get even coated. Just kind of toss them. Like I said, these are pretty moist, so they're going to get that rub's going to stick to them really good. But I want to get as much rub on these as possible. Because I really want these to pick up some smoke and get some of that good sweet flavor. And after they've been on the grill on the high smoke setting for about two hours, we're going to take them off. We're going to sauce them and put them back on in a pan so they can kind of caramelize. Rack. So, and I'm just going to add just a little bit more on top just in case. Because, like I said, they're still kind of wet. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get these out on the grill. And I'll see you guys I'm going to go ahead and throw these on and leave them in, like I said, right around two hours or so. And then I'm going to crank the heat up from the 220 low smoke setting up to um, probably around the 350 range when I put the sauce on them because I want them to caramelize some. So we've been uh, right about two hours, guys, and this thing's been... Chugging right along between uh, 218 and 228, which is pretty good because uh, it says it's supposed to be at 220. Let's show you how those are looking. Gotten a little juicy there, but they look like they're ready to um, be. I want to show you guys. Sauce. I did put a pan underneath that rack just because I knew for a fact there was going to be a lot of fat. So you see all that fat that. Uh, 
came off of there. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. All right, I just right pulled now. these off, and I cranked the grill up to 350. So when we put these back on, it should be up there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to toss them onto this back onto this cookie sheet. I cleaned that up. You can see, guys, all that bacon fat <laughs> that rendered off of there. So highly suggest you put a pan, drip pan or something under there if you're going to do these on any kind of grill because that right there will cause the fire. That is a lot. You know, pork belly has a lot of fat. It's bacon pretty much. So that is a lot of fat that came off of there. And that was only, at, you know, right around 225 to 220 the whole time for two hours. So it rendered a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss all these chunks on this pan and I'm going to coat them with this King's Hawaiian barbecue sauce. And we're just going to throw them back on there and let that uh, kind of get a nice uh, crust on it. And then we're going to eat them up. So they're pretty much done now. And you can tell they've lost a lot of that fat, but they're pretty juicy. I, I tried one already and um, I could eat them now right now, but I want to get some of that sauce on there and I want them to render down just a little bit more and get a little bit of crisp on them from the higher heat. I'm going to throw these in a sandwich. So, all right, guys, I'll toss some sauce on these. Be right back. I just pulled them off. They were on there another 20, 20 minutes or so. I could probably go a little bit longer if I want them to get a little bit more crispy, but these are done. These are nice and soft and tender, and they're hot. Whew. I'm going to get me a fork because it's kind of too hot to handle right now. So I just want to show you. It does get a little bit of crispy on the bottom. But I'm um, just kind of going to show you just how tender and juicy that is. Very sweet. Just the right size. And what I did is I, I got some fresh bread at Sprouts today. And I'm going to make a sandwich out of it. And um, since it's just me for dinner tonight, I made it my way. I just put some mayonnaise and I had some um, broccoli kale salad that you get at Costco that's got the... Uh, uh, dehydrated cranberries and sunflower seeds and stuff in it. I found that makes a good uh, bed for some of this stuff. So this is pretty sweet sauce that's on here. That's that um, King's Hawaiian pineapple blend. So it's pretty sweet. But we're going to go ahead and throw this right on that sandwich. And I'm going to take a bite. But hopefully it cools down a little bit because it is pretty hot. I am going to go ahead and have another one of these little ones. Because they're pretty decent. Can't complain at all. I might just eat all of those. But I'm going to go ahead and take a bite of this sandwich. Because that is what is for dinner tonight. So get a hold of it here. Kind of smoosh it all down. One of those Guy Fieri scrunches. Let me take a bite here. Mmm. Not quite a banh mi, but that's pretty good. I mean, that, that pork belly is great. You got to try this pork belly. You can do the regular burn ins. Um, there's several different recipes. I'll probably make them a couple different ways. I like this pellet grill. I mean, the pellet grill is very easy to use. It's just like an indoor oven. Um, I've been using a Kamado charcoal grill for the last uh, five or six years. This you guys got to totally try different. this recipe. Make sure you like this video. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to this channel. Check out our Facebook groups and our page. Follow us on Instagram. 